The governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, has called for amendments to be made on the 1999 constitution to redirect the country to a path of true democracy. Governor Otom made this call while briefing journalists on his midterm scorecard in Makodi. In the meantime, protests took place in some states to mark Democracy Day, but it was business as usual in Iloring, the Kwara state capital. Mayawa Okwato reports. Democracy Day in Kwara state's capital, it's business as usual. Vehicular and human movements go on unhindered while security operatives are stationed at strategic locations. Most of the shops along Popular Challenge Post Office Road in Ilori are open for business while a handful of them are under lock and key. The police in Kwara State had in a statement issued by the Police Public Relations Officer SP Ajay Okasomi enjoyed the people of the state to go about their lawful businesses without any fear of molestation. Meanwhile, in Benue State, the state's governor, Samuel Otom, seized the opportunity to brief journalists of his mid-term scorecard. He particularly spoke on how he has addressed insecurity in the state in recent times. The open grazing prohibition and ranching establishment law 2017 is regarded as the most famous legislation initiated by the Executive Council during our time. In spite of the resistance from AITLA groups, the, ranch, the ranching law is being faithfully enforced. It calls for the need for the amend of the 1999 constitution as it describes as faulty and outdated. There is need for us to look at the 1999 constitution which was enacted by a few individuals in the military. There was no adequate contribution from the people of this country themselves to that constitution. That constitution is faulty. Youths and graduates are also advised to be innovators and job creators as they urge them to seize the opportunities in agriculture and other sectors aimed at improving human existence. Mayowa Okwato, 